This is the electronics grid that goes in the bottom of the boomer blower box. Um, these orange tubes here have holes drilled in the bottom and they're drilled far enough apart to allow for friction. Water is dispensed at one end and it goes equally all the way across to the other end and dispenses uh, throughout the box equally. And then on the bottom side, what that does is this is the clay layer that, that this sits in and because that's the, the part that will hold the most moisture. And then these tubes, as you see here, they have little holes drilled in the bottoms here. And then the electronic things, that's what keeps the soil moist in that layer. And it's very important that that layer stays moist. And then here's inside the greenhouse. Shows, here's one of the grids kind of sitting in place. So we're going down. This is the clay layer. And then underneath that is a sand and gravel layer. And then there are um, ports where the excess water goes out. That's right here. You can see it's screened over. But all the excess water, some water sits, is made to sit in the box, and then the rest goes out because this is raised up slightly. So that works. And these were going to be tomato boxes because then you could stake them and put screens up along the back side so they go right up the wall. They're attached across the top here, and that way um, you can turn you can turn all the leaves right towards the sun, and then the back wall is all mylar, so you're going to get reflectivity there. So now we got all the vents open on the Upertopia greenhouse, and it's quite cool in here. There's a nice little breeze blowing in here. It's not warm inside the greenhouse at all. The vents are opened up. I'm going to show you the vent, how that works. Um, these here are connected to a couple of pulleys. And then you just pull on those, and that will either raise or lower the vents as you need them. And you see how that works? I'm going to pull it again. And that just closes up seal up at the end of the day and then you just do like I do here with Navy guys do knots and stuff so that's secured we got lots of ventilation in here now more than any other greenhouse on the market really large doors these are all sliding on tracks so we've got screened over vents everywhere including up on top and sliding wide, sliding, sliding screen doors. Now these are 40 inches wide. So it's kind of nice having screen doors on a greenhouse. You can see, no bugs. Let's do an outside look. There you go. All the vents open and everything. It's looking good. This has been here for three years. And it's taken all the hell that Lake Superior can throw at it. That's a wind corridor comes through there. Man, it comes blasting through here. Matter of fact, there used to be a bunch of trees here that all got broke down last winter in storms. And uh, yeah, this is what happens to them. These got totally destroyed. So anyway, Utopia's holding up well. Looks good. I like it.